Let's have a look at the Elements EDR advanced response capabilities. So we have a user who has opened a malicious Word document via email and Elements EDR has detected the attack and automatically isolated the device from the network so that the attack does not spread from this device. When we look at the broad context detection, we can see that this is a severe risk and this detection is coming from this particular device. From the detection summary view, we can see that Outlook opened Winward and Winward executed further PowerShell, CertUtil, etc. From the process tree, we can do some additional investigation regarding this attack. So we, for instance, see that this attack started from Winward EXE opening a job application document. Then we can see that the cert util after that downloaded some content to a folder. Then we can see PowerShell executing PowerShell scripts from that same folder. And then we have a lot of different detections. What I want to do now is to kill that word process and also collect all of the contents of that particular folder. So I will create a new response action, choose the device, and then I'll first kill the process with the memory capture so that it can also take a memory dump at the same time. Then I'm searching for a response action for files. So I'm using the retrieve files capability and then I can run these at the same time for the device. I noticed from the broad context detection that the word is running with the process ID 7780 so I'll be killing that and taking a full memory dump out of the process. Then I'll retrieve the files from this C payload drop folder and I'm utilizing the max files so it will, I will only fetch, fetch maximum of 10 files. Then I can add some comments to my response actions so that the other people are also able to see why I'm doing these actions. So commenting the actions and they will be also highlighted in the response view. So I'm commenting here that I'm killing the process and taking the memory dump. And then also I'm retrieving the files from the attack uh, directory. I've now created two response actions to this particular device. I could, of course, set multiple actions to multiple devices, but in this case, we are only investigating one device. We can then see that these are initializing first, then they are sent to the device, and after a while, they are running in the device. Once the response job is completed, you can open it, and then you can see the details. So here we can see that it was succeeded and you could download those retrieved files in a zip folder. Also now the second kill process and also the memory dump has completed successfully. And we do see that it has been executed, succeeded, and then we have the memory dump available as a download. Next, I want to make sure that I also delete the folder. So I just create another response job for deletion of the folder. So yet again, I'm searching here, the files. So delete files or folders. We took that and then we chose the path and then we can give a comment. So deleting the payload folder and then we click create. Once this response job has been created, it is then finished, and we can also see that it has succeeded. So we have successfully deleted the files from the client.